more surprised than I was earlier today that you're all in your seats. But I'm so glad you came back for an absolutely terrific performance. But wasn't that dramatic? And maybe you're going to enjoy it more because you've had a glass of wine. Um, so, or maybe two. Or maybe three. Um, I would now like to introduce you the leader of the National Unity Platform and People Power Movement in Uganda. He is an actor and he is a singer, Bobby Wine. <laughs> it is so great to have you here tonight. Thank I'm, you. I'm Thank glad you that, me. you know, we managed to get back in the building. Oh, yeah. So you're going to have a message with your performance tonight. What is the message you would like this audience to receive? Thank you very much. First of all, thank you for this opportunity to highlight a message from Uganda. Guys, I come from Uganda. Yeah, Uganda is a beautiful East African country of 45 million people uh, with the youngest population in the world. Unfortunately, Uganda is under the rule of General Yoweri Museveni, a military dictator who's been ruling our country for 37 years. And today, he is in advanced stages of installing his son, also a military general, as his heir. And guess what? I am the guy trying to stop that together with my friends. How can those of us in this room support the fight for freedom and democracy in Uganda? Thank you. First of all, give us your attention. When we have the attention of the world, then the world knows what's happening in Uganda. Many times the people in Uganda feel like they're suffering in the dark. Give us your attention, but that's not all. We know that you can help us by calling upon your government through your elected leaders to stop funding the dictatorship in Uganda and also to stop uh, being seen not to condemn it. You have laws, for example, the Global Magnitsky that can be evoked against a dictatorship and also targeted sanctions. Those are the things that are effective to the dictatorship. Otherwise, we cannot keep fighting against the euros, fighting against all the donor money that comes from the EU and the developed world. Bobby, you started as an artist and then have made the transition to being a politician. Why did you decide to take that step? I did not decide to take that step. That's, that step decided to take me. <laughs> I'm an artist. I prefer being an artist. But because there came a time when the intellectuals were either so scared or compromised, and there was this attention that comes with music, the attention that we get from the young population that we had, so I decided to rise to the occasion and represent what I believe in. That is freedom, that is democracy, that is human rights, that's equality. And you are now going to hear exactly how Bobby Wine presents that right now. So the it's my time? Yours. It is All yours. these guys are for me? Yes, yes. All right, yes. now that I got you, ladies and gentlemen, I did not come here alone. Like I said, you can't do politics alone, and you cannot do music alone. I came together with my brother, my music partner, who nominated me to run for president. He was arrested. That's the crime he committed, supporting me for president. And he spent seven months in prison. He's now out of prison, although, and I must warn you, ladies and gentlemen, that the music we are about to perform to you is criminalized back home. It is banned back home, so you all run a risk if you enjoy our music. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nubian Lee, my brother, my friend. Step up, Nubian. <laughs> Welcome back from jail, brother. Big up. Yeah. So you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Now this one is for Ugandans and for Africans. Where's the music? Yeah. Now this is a story about Uganda. It was 9th of October 1961 when our nation was born, beautiful and endowed with the promise of democracy, with unity in diversity, 
all of them trying to build a nation that would make life better for the future generations. Well, indeed, we are that generation. We are the grandchildren of the Mandela generation, and we are the grandparents of the future generations. But we must, within ourselves, come together to find solutions, because guess what? We are on our own as a generation. We are the country, we are the future, we are the change we badly need. We are the youngest population in the world, we stand a chance. We are the leaders of the future, and the future is today. If we only come together, we can change our destiny. You can. We are living in a place where people get abducted. They torture, the enforce disappearance. The gun is the mask and the citizen slave. The pearl of Africa is bleeding. Question, what was the purpose of the liberation when you can't have a peaceful transition? What is the purpose of the constitution when the government disrespect the constitution? Where is my freedom of expression when you jail me because of my expression? See what you're doing to our nation. What are you teaching the future generation? See how our leaders become misleaders. And see how our mentors become tormentors. Freedom fighters become dictators. They look at the youth and say we are detractors. We are fighting for freedom. Sing along, come sing along. We are fighting for freedom. But now you can We are fighting for freedom. Everybody just Boy. want to be free. We are fighting for freedom. All the friends, international yeah. community, we, we are, are fighting, fighting for freedom. Stop funding the dictators. We, we are, are fighting for freedom. Sing along, yeah. come sing along. We, we are fighting for freedom. My brothers Boy. in Ukraine, we, we are fighting for freedom. My brothers yeah. in Sudan. We are fighting for freedom In the Congo and Somalia We are fighting for freedom Sing along, come sing along We are fighting for freedom Thank you Thank you All right, all right Now, thank you Thank you very much Wow, that's lovely that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so now that we have your attention, ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. Yesterday was International Mother's Day, and I could not stop thinking about Olivia Lutaya. Now, Olivia Lutaya is a 29-year-old mother of two girls, and she's a political prisoner in Uganda. She has been in prison for two years. 
She was arrested in 2021, May, on the 8th, detained in a military barracks, tortured and humiliated. And I'm, I don't know how much amount of dehumanization happened to her. She, together with thousands of other political prisoners, are rotting in jail in Uganda, and their only crime was supporting the opposition. Their only crime was standing on a different side from General Museveni. Now, I know, ladies and gentlemen, that we have so many other political prisoners all over the world, so many other oppressed people all over the world. We fight for them, but I want to use the, this platform to send a message to all the suffering people in the world and to tell them that one day it's going to be all right. The suffering people in Uganda, the suffering people in Sudan, the suffering people in Congo, in Somalia, in Ukraine, in Palestine, everywhere in the world. I'll tell you that oppressed people cannot be oppressed forever. One day, everything is going to be all right. Now, give me that music now. Well, if you feel like giving up, remember why you started. Listen this. I can see your sweat and the tears from your eyes. Everything shows you want to give up. And I can see your pain and your grief and your fears and all your frustrations. But you've got to be strong. Never let your troubles knock you and keep you down. You've got to rise up. Think about tomorrow. Look beyond your fears. There are days when the sky is not blue and everything is a sign of doom. Trust in God and believe in Him. Trust in God and believe in Him. The power. One day everything is going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Someday everything will be alright. Alright. Someday everything is going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. One day everything will be alright. I say you will overcome every situation. It seems impossible until it's done. Better days must come and the sun will rise. No matter how dark the night has been. Nobody will have a right to kill another man. Poverty and misery will be in the past. Hospital with good medication. Every ghetto you will have a chance to go to school. No more shedding of blood on the streets. No more human rights violations. No more hunger. No more war. Everybody will have the opportunity. One day everything is going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I say everything will be alright. Alright. One day everything is going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I say everything will be alright. 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 Please stop the music. Stop. Good vibe with all of you for the suffering people. I beg that we get on our feet and show them the love. Play that from the beginning, my brother. Play that from the beginning. Are you feeling Ira? Start it again. Start it again. All right. One day everything is gonna be fine. Then you say, everything's gonna be fine. One day everything is gonna be fine. One day everything will be alright. One day everything is gonna be fine. Wow, play it from the beginning and let's dance to it now. Dance! Yeah, technician, play that from the beginning and let's dance to it. Well, if you feel like giving up, Remember why you started. <laughs> I can see your face and the tears in your eyes. Everything shows you want to give up. And I can see your sweat and the tears in your eyes. And all your frustrations, you've got to be strong. Never let your troubles knock and keep you down. You've got to rise up. Think about tomorrow. Look beyond your fears. 
There are days when the sky's not blue And everything is a sign of doom Trust in God and believe in Him Trust in God and believe in Him so One day everything is gonna be fine Everything gonna be fine Someday everything will be alright Everything gonna be fine I say everything is gonna be fine Everything gonna be fine One day everything will be alright Every situation, hey. it seems impossible until it's done. Better days must come and the sun will rise. No matter how dark the night has been. Yeah. Nobody will have a right to kill another man. Poverty Nobody. and misery will be in the past. Hospital with good medication. Every ghetto youth will have a chance to go to school. No more. Shedding of blood on the streets. No more. Human rights violations. No more. Hunger. No more war. Opportunity. One day everything is gonna be fine. Everything gonna be fine. I say everything will be alright. Alright. Oh, One day everything is gonna be fine. Everything gonna be fine. One day everything will be alright. Alright. Oh, now this goes out to all the political prisoners all over the world. Thank you, Dan Magic. Olivia, yeah. remember your pain is not in vain. That is how we get the experience. And what doesn't kill you makes you strong. Never give in to the dictatorship. One day you will look back and smile. And you will have a story to tell. Endurance, perseverance. The harder the squeeze, the sweeter the juicy. Where there's no pain, there is no gain. Victory never come easy. Remember in life there are ups and downs. Never give in to the negativity notes. One day everything is gonna be fine. Everything gonna be fine. I say everything will be alright. Everything gonna be fine. One day everything is gonna be fine. Everything gonna be fine. I say everything will be I just want to say, I told you so, didn't I? Okay, I told you this was going to be great. Thank you so much. That was just terrific. And thank you for the message. I did just want to say to you that, unfortunately, because of the fire alarm earlier, Commander Massoud's video address to all of us got interrupted. That will be available online. You'll get more information in that in the future, but we want the full content out there for you guys to enjoy. And we want to see you first thing tomorrow morning, uh, 9.30. Uh, so don't keep drinking. Go back early and go to bed. <laughs> uh, you've had enough. Uh, and you've got some music, a bit of partying. Uh, we start sharply at 9.30 with a session on the global tech race. Is the, world, is the free world still in the lead? We will focus on making sure that technology advances democracy rather than damaging it. I just want to say well, that was brilliant. Thank you so much. What an amazing way to end this. Uh, much better than the way I normally end conferences. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you, guys. Terrific. Nice one. Thank you, nice Thank you Vivian. Thank you. That was a great addition.